Hi everyone, and uh, as usual, welcome. Um, today I'm going to do a kit, and uh, I know nothing about this kit other than uh, it's a transformer of some sort. Um, I can see a massive amount of coils there. Well, in fact, the whole thing is a coil, but a massive amount of windings that side, and a few that side, which tells me that it's some sort of st well, either step up or step down. Um, but I've got reason to believe this is a high voltage generator of some sort. Um, so, uh, first of all, let's let's have a quick look and find out what it is. I've actually done one of these before, not on a not on YouTube. Uh, I did it myself just to test, and it didn't work. But anyway, um, it's the second one. I just happened to have two, probably because I got them cheap. Um, so let's start putting this thing together. And we'll see what happens. Um, so where should I start? I suppose I should start by screwing this in here. This is the transistor. Now I don't know exactly how this thing works, I'll admit. But what I do know is that it's going to give 15 kilovolts um, out with three with 3.7 volts in. So however it works very impressive. Can I get that in there? There we go. Just tighten that up. <clears throat> and um, is this the hardest thing to solder on? Um, I suppose it's not really. I'm going to do the resistor first. So put the resistor in there, it's 120 ohms, which the code is black, uh, no actually no it's not, it's brown, red, brown 120, so let's solder this up first maybe I should zoom in here, um, yeah why not, let's zoom in hopefully you can see a bit better there so, um, Let's start. And that's the resistor in. I'll just cut these off. Which is the next hardest component? I'd say it's the diode. So the diode goes in here. Throw the diode in. And let's go for the diode. So it'd be interesting to know how this thing actually worked, and uh, maybe I'll I'll work that out. But I think it's probably unlikely. I'll just do a chilled out kit video here. Um, it's actually about eleven o'clock at night right now, and um, I'll have to be up fairly early. But I thought I'd make the most of it and uh, and do a video. So what's the next thing? Um, the switch, I suppose. Well then again, this is going to be difficult. Um, let's go for this first. Right now, this should be enameled copper, but I can see it's probably not enameled there. Let me just zoom out a bit. So it's going to be the well, which wire? Um, well, one of these thick ones and one of the thin ones. It shouldn't make any difference, I don't think. A thin one and a thick one would go in there like that. Seems to make sense. And then one of them, the thick one, will go to the transistor. So, thick one goes to the transistor. So actually, let's do it the other way around. Um, if we put those two, put those two in there. So we've got a thin one and a thick one going into the centre, which goes to the high voltage thing. Then we've got a thin one in there going to the resistor, and we've got another thick one 
going to the transistor. That sh that should be right. Bit of a weird setup though, isn't it? Look at that. You would have thought they, you know, do it well sensibly if you like, but whatever. Let's soldier them in. See what happens. But like I said, um, the old one didn't. I mean, the other one that I did just didn't work. So I'm actually not not very confident with this one either. Let's zoom in again. There we go. Now this wire, with it being enameled, again we might have a problem. It, it's something like that. If you heat it up, it, it will work. If you get it hot enough. Let's heat it up first. Try now. Maybe that will work. See, this is the thing. Maybe I didn't strip the enamel off the other one. Maybe I should have. I don't know. It's certainly very hot. Um, snip these off again, I suppose. And I hope that that's right. There's supposed to be a zip tie that, that goes across this, but there was no zip tie in mine, so I don't know. Um, maybe I'll tape it down or something. I don't know at the moment. Um, but anyway, this is where we're up to, up to now. Now I think I'll do the resist. Uh, sorry, not the resistor, the transistor. Zoom out a bit more. Transistor next. There we go. Transistor. Okay. Uh, first terminal. The collector. And the other one, which will probably be the emitter because the track sticker. Although I don't know for certain. Right, now next is the heat sink. Uh, and this just needs to be tacked on, you don't need to go too mad with it. That will do. And what's next? Uh, next we'll do this switch. Just blue tack this in place as usual. That will hold it nice. And this is the same, all we need is a connection, we don't need to go too crazy with it. will do. Okay, and now well there's the switch. Feels like it's broken actually. Oh well. Alright, now next is power. Now they've also got these but I think I know what they're for. Um so power, it would be good if I had um a connector, so I'll just go and get one. I have all sorts of different things in this box, so we'll use one of these green ones. And put it in there. Put that thing in place as normal. And let's go for it. That's also in place and done. Is that everything? Looks like it, doesn't it? So this thing now, um, how far are you supposed to have these apart? I don't know. But what I'll do is I'll test it. So let's see what it what it does. Let's see how it reacts. So I've got here a lithium cell, and I've got some special ends on it that I put on. Just get rid of this rubbish. Zoom out a little bit. Let's wire this up and see what happens. 
minus to minus minus to minus and plus to plus make sure that's off, yep it's off ok that's looking ok to me so if I switch this on we should get well an arc basically so put this together yeah it works although I can't actually see it so oh wow I could see it right so what I want to do what I want to do is just take this off here um, now I think the idea of these is that you can have um, an arc of a certain distance so I'm going to need some heat shrink otherwise the uh, the arc will will go before the connector so I need some heat shrink uh, where's heat shrink so I've got a piece of heat shrink and uh, how do I want to do this now I'll probably put them three apart so I need to break break that so we, we don't want those three we just want these three and I need to solder that to that and have heat shrink as well so we need a small piece of heat shrink about that's about 9mm, 8mm something like that so I've got the heat shrink put that away. Let's pop these over there they've already the ends of this has already been tinned so that's, that makes it easier <clears throat> right so let's see what happens I'll need to pull that middle pin out as well of here there we go it's out so now I've got that sort of thing now um, potentially this could be quite difficult I'll put a bit more solder on there It's definitely enough solder. Yeah. That appears to be on. So move this over. Now the other side. I don't really know how I'm going to hold this. Let's tin this as well. That will make things a lot easier. Right. Oh, look how awkward this is now. Let's put that in there. I'll zoom in a little bit for you. Yeah, this is a bit awkward. Already done. And put the heat shrink over. Let's heat it up. I did have a gas-powered soldier iron, and that was really, really good, especially for heating stuff up. But it needs a new tip now, but the, the tips on them are so expensive that it's hardly worth doing it, but then again, I don't know, it is a really good quality iron, so I might just pay the money and get the tips. Okay, so there we go, I'll just turn my soldering iron on, and let's see what happens now. So there's the finished thing. Yeah, so there it is. This needs putting down properly, you know, so it's not flexible, but but they didn't bother to give me any zip ties, but whatever. Um, so now what I think I'll do, I think I'll get, I'll turn the light off, or one of them at least. Maybe I should go for both, actually. But I'll um, attach this first. This probe, if you want to call it that. Let's see what it does. You ready? 
Oh wow. Wow, that's really cool. You see how the little oh clicks across, right? I'm gonna turn the light off now. Let me see if I can straighten that out a little bit as well. You can barely see it, but um I'm gonna zoom in a bit more. You're gonna focus, there we go. So it says you can burn stuff with it. Um, <coughs> let's give that a go. Whoa! 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 You definitely can burn stuff. Let's see what it does here. I see what it's doing, you see. Because it's too much um because it's too much resistance at the tip, the um, arc moves down. You see, because there's too much resistance there. So it moves down to wherever it can go. What else have I got to um to burn? Let's have a look at this. Another piece of paper. Whoa. Yeah, it's very cool. Anyway, that was me um, messing about with a 15,000 volt. Oh, that's hot. Uh, step up converter. And um, yeah, it's certainly fun. You can burn a lot of stuff, it looks like, and make a cool 15,000 volt arc, which is purple in colour, which is really cool. Um, yeah, so a uh, really cool uh, project. I bought two. First one didn't work. This one does work. Um, yeah, just something interesting and fun to mess about with. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.